We often refer people to the MS Config or the Microsoft Configuration Utility on their computers so they can troubleshoot startup problems or help speed up slow startup systems. The way you get to the System Configuration Utility, again MS Config, is by clicking Start and then Run. When you click Start plus Run, you type in the letters MS. C O N F I G M S config and then click OK. Once you click OK, the system configuration utility pops up and you immediately want to head to the startup folder or the tab. In the startup tab you'll see a list of all of the programs that are starting automatically. If you don't want a particular program to start automatically, you simply uncheck the item next to it that you don't want. Now oftentimes you will recognize what the startup item is, but sometimes you won't. So the best place to look is the command column. When you expand the command column by putting your cursor in between two columns and then dragging, it will show you where that particular item is starting and then some of them like this power reg that I don't recognize, I can recognize here by looking at the command that it's actually coming from my palm and it's a registration remind reminder. So I can simply uncheck that box. The next time it comes up it won't start. Acrobat Reader, for example, I don't need that to start up every single time I start my computer. I can uncheck that as well. The nice thing about MS Config is it is very safe because the worst that you're going to do is uncheck something you didn't intend and all you need to do is go back into the utility and recheck the box and the next time you start it'll come right back. So it's a very safe and easy way to control what's starting up on your computer and you can get to it very easily at any time by clicking start run MS Config. Use our website to search for MS Config for more tips related to this great utility and how you can decode some of the startup items that don't make sense.